Good day, folks. Today is just going to be a quick little video, and uh, we're going to be talking about the smart controller. DJI just released a firmware update for it on the 10th of January. They've added some nice new features, so let's just jump right in and take a look. So as stated on the 10th of January, DJI released a firmware update for the DJI Smart Controller. They've added a few interesting new features. Now they didn't add support for the Phantom 4 Pro V2.0. They did have some beta firmware out for uh, quite some time where you could actually add the Phantom 4 V2.0. But in this official release, they haven't added that support yet. I was kind of hoping they would have because I just received one of the new relaunch version 2.0s. And I was kind of hoping to add it to my Smart Controller. But hopefully that will come soon. So I'm just going to kind of go over the release notes here with you. First of all, I just want to point out here, if you go to the notes, it states here that you have to update it via the DJI Assistant 2. You cannot update it via the controller. When you power on the controller, you're going to notice the update pop up right away. Now I thought I would try the update via the controller first, just to see what would happen. That way I could include that in this video. Everything looked like it was going through fine. The controller rebooted. It said that the firmware was updated successfully. But within 10 seconds, the message popped back up to please update firmware. So it did indeed fail. So definitely if you're going to be updating it, use the DJI Assistant 2. You can download it from the DJI website. All you have to do is launch the software, plug your controller in, do a firmware check, and it will prompt you to download. So let's take a look at what they've added. The first thing here you can see is they've added a quick fly function. That allows you to boot up the controller quickly and go right into the uh, DJI Go 4 app. That's one thing that a lot of people like about the smart controller is that when you're out in the field, it's quick and easy to get up and flying. We'll definitely check that out here in a minute. Now the next thing here, it says that it's added SkyTalk. You enable it by going to the settings and then to the DJI lab. Now according to the notes, it says SkyTalk will allow you to share your live feed with family and friends via third party social apps. So if you like to do live streaming, that's definitely something that you enjoy I don't really do any kind of live streaming myself so that's not really a feature that I'll be making use of but definitely it's nice that they've added that it also states that they've optimized the process of selecting default storage location another interesting feature you can see here that they've added audio recording during screen recording and you have to enable that in the settings and lastly they've added an electronic quick start guide for the smart controller so let's take a look at those updates and where they're located uh, first of all if we go to settings you can see here if we scroll down to sound at the bottom here it says screen recording with audio. You can see here it's enabled, but we can turn it off as well. So if you don't want to kind of get any environmental audio with your screen recordings, you can disable that. The other big thing they've added was SkyTalk, and you can see here we can go into DJI Lab, and we have that option there for SkyTalk. We can turn it on, and you can see here it gives us this new little kind of uh, menu here at the bottom. It allows us to go live, and it gives us some basic telemetry about the drone. You can tap on it and move it around the screen to wherever you think it is best. You can also click on it to shrink it down, and click on it again to bring it full size. And lastly, the other thing they've added is the quick fly functionality. You can see here it says fly immediately, so we can turn that on. And what's going to happen is when we power on the smart controller, it's going to go right into the live view. So I'm going to power off the smart controller, and we'll test that out. So I've got the smart controller powered off, so let's go ahead and power it on, and we'll see if it does indeed go right into the live view. And I must apologize for the noise. Uh, the fan is running in the drone here, and it is quite loud. So you can see there it did indeed go right into the live view of the drone. Normally you would log into the main screen and then you would uh, launch the DJI Go 4 app and then you'd have to hit go fly. So definitely that is a nice feature. So yeah folks, like I said, just a quick little update video showing you the new firmware that was just released. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.